Good morning and welcome to this little weekend vlog. Haven't really done a style like this in quite a while or maybe even ever. I haven't long woken up so I'm still kind of like coming to life but I'm heading off to a gym class so I just thought I'd quickly introduce this video. I'm attempting a healthy girl era so I'm having this protein yogurt before I go. This is honestly so, so nice. Just tastes like a dessert and it's like 18 grams of protein and 90 calories. And I thought I'd just throw some blueberries in because I forgot about these and I haven't used them. We are going to town later on today, so the day is going to get a bit more glamorous as it goes on, but I thought I would start with how I'm trying to enter this new era of being fit and fresh on a Saturday morning. So yeah, let's go. This is what I'm wearing. <laughs> I did not spend money on gym clothes, so I'm just literally wearing... These are my new trainers, because this is... I feel how all the cool girls wear them. And then, this is so ancient, this uh, Victoria's Secret vest top and this uh, little, like, gym bralette top. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at me. <clears throat> I would never normally be vlogging looking like this but that was the hardest class <laughs> i thought i was going into um body combat do you know like the les mills ones that's like punch punch and it's all like Katy perry songs i went in the room i'm gonna try and situate you over here i think so the steering wheels no nope, it's very much still there what if i put you in here <laughs> how weird would that be where can i put you I'll just, just stop everywhere. Yeah, I went in, the room was pitch black. Like, do you know these like scary, dark, <laughs> dark like gyms where everything's like so dark. Like it was like that. There was these like medicine punching ball things and everyone looked so serious. Everyone knew what they were doing. And no one like tried to help me until the instructor, I was just like standing in the room and I was this close to just running out of the room and being like, no, never mind, forget it. And then the instructor was like, are you okay there? And I was like, oh, sorry, this is just my first time doing this class. And then basically, she was like, right, it's a circuit. So I, I got it. I just thought everyone literally knew what they were doing from the get-go. So it was like a circuit. And then it was those treadmills. You know the treadmills that are not like the ones where you press a button and go up? It like, you move it and it's like a curved. Oh my God, I swear, I thought it was going to come flying off it so many times. I was like, I will not leave this class without flying off this because like you can increase or reduce the resistance. So if the resistance is really low, it goes so fast. And because like you can't stop yourself on it, there's no stop. Like you end up like making it go fast. Anyway, the whole thing, it was brutal. I'm so tired now. <laughs> I'm actually scunnered. I'm going to go in and get like a good shower. Um, the jacuzzi's off. <sighs> And then, yeah, good shower. Maybe like I'll dip, dip in the pool and then steam room, sauna and come back all refreshed. I mean, that was a good class. Don't get me wrong, it was good, but it was brutal. It was like, like literally like jump squats, like with weights and stuff. Like it was intense. Like, do you know what I felt like is Gabby in Desperate Housewives when he's like, no, this is the regime, no cake. Literally, I was thinking about getting a prick cookie in the middle of the class. And I was like, <laughs> this, this instructor would be like, what is she doing here? That she couldn't see what was inside my head. Anyway, this is the start of the vlog. So I'm going to go in and I'll come back once I'm all refreshed. Okay, so I'm heading into town. I've just done my hair, makeup, filmed some TikToks. I'm doing something exciting. So I'll try and film what I can, but this is the outfit of the day. I wish I'd had time to iron this, but I'm kind of running late and the Uber's on the way now. So this is the look. It's tweed-esque and kind of summer, uh, springtime, but the weather's miserable. So I had to be like reasonable about the outfit, you know, that's what I'm saying.
Sorry for this horrendous angle. I'm just getting ready to go to my friend's baby shower. So we had such a good day yesterday shopping. It was so nice. Um, I just love going into the shops, having a glass of champagne. And we went to this uh, little wine bar that my colleague at work recommended called Vroni's. Apparently it's been there since 1995. Don't know how I never had heard of it before, but it was such cute vibes. Like very like kind of old school bar, like almost pub vibes, but quite a glam pub. They had like loads of champagne bottles lined up and like some had candles in them like that. It was cute, cute vibes. I'm just having my little cinnamon raisin toast. I am literally obsessed with this. I have it every morning for breakfast. It's the Warburton's one. Honestly, if you like cinnamon and like raisin and that kind of like almost not Christmassy, but that kind of vibe, this is so good. I'm watching Scarlett Fraser on YouTube hey, right now. I'm like really in love with her vibe. Like she's very into like Gossip Girl. Sorry, I'll show. I'll get to like a better point where you can see her. This is her. She's like an Australian girly, but she loves like Gossip Girl, like pink. So I would definitely recommend her YouTube videos um, because I have been enjoying her channel. So these are the little shoes that I want to wear. I actually got these on eBay. They wear, they are like well worn, which I wouldn't normally buy, but I just really wanted a pair of Tory Burch like pink heels and they were a good price like considering like look I mean that it does look really bad on camera but see when you're wearing them you can't see it and I just think it's going to go perfectly with the dress that I'm wearing which is this one from LK Bennett I'll do a better like outfit shot once oh I forgot I haven't blended my like, contour I thought that was a hair and then I was like oh my god right I'm gonna go and do that and then I'll show you my full outfit before I leave okay here is the outfit put together I'm gonna to move to the bigger uh, mirror so you can see a full length, but this is the dress. I think it's so cute and so classy. I feel very elegant for a baby shower. So I feel like, hopefully I've got the vibe right. Um, and I've got my little Louis Vuitton Alma PM, which I haven't used in a while. So I definitely am trying to like bring her out a wee bit more often. Popped a wee scarf just around the handle because I always think that looks so cute. Although it probably needs neatened up a wee bit. And then I've gone for my Dior choker, which I'm pleased with because I feel like I've worn it now quite a few times recently because this was something I didn't, I don't regret it like at all, but I do find it quite hard to wear. So yeah, here's the look. Okay, full length shot. I'm actually in love with these little Tory Burch heels. How, how cute are they? And like, see like the damage or wear, you really can't see it unless you like really go close up. And I think I'm just going to pop a little cream coat on top, my little mango one. So I'll do that. And then I'm just waiting on my friend picking me up. Perfect timing. That is her just here. And here's my little coat on. Ready to go. Actually having the most Elwood's moment. Teddy ran out the door. So I had to go down and get him. Like, he's inside. But I honestly was like, first sir, first sir, Woods. Didn't know you're so athletic. I meant to film before I took my makeup off, but I forgot. I'm just sat in bed, I'm having the most random thing, which is, I do not normally do this, but I'm having a bit of breaded chicken. We had curry for dinner, but it was a portion from the freezer and it was actually really quite small. So I was just so hungry. And then I remembered we had this. So I was like, right, I'm just gonna put that on. Well, in fact, Jack put it on. Um, so I'm just sat here, I've taken my makeup off. I'm about to, put, to do moisturizer and then retinol. I'm so bad at remembering to put it because I keep it in the fridge. Just always forget. Teddy's literally watching me as I have this chicken. Aha. Uh -huh. Mummy sees you. <laughs> Hello, my baby boy. That's my wee baby boy. I'm watching Scarlett again. I honestly think I'm going to have watched all her YouTubes because she, sorry, she doesn't have that many. So um, probably I'm going to finish her whole channel soon. And then I think I'm going to finished gossip girl because i was like almost finished it for like i don't know the millionth time and then i don't know what to do what show should i go to next well i was act no i was actually watching housewives as well real housewives i mean i kind of want to do like one of my classics which would be is that tomato sauce no i think it's a spot would be desperate housewives ugly betty or the oc that's like my three like in addition to gossip girl do like 90210 as well morning i know you're probably thinking what on earth is she wearing and what is she doing so i'm on my treadmill and i also have put this on just to hold my phone <laughs> i know i look like a postman or something i'm trying to do maybe like half an hour's walking i decided i'm going to walk until the tesco delivery man arrives 
So we'll see how we get on with that. And then I'm going to shower and get ready for the day. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> the Tesco delivery is coming between 10 and 11, not nine and 10. So I'm gonna go jump in the shower now and kind of get ready before hopefully they do arrive because I'm so hungry and we have no food. So I'm literally waiting for it to arrive so that I can have breakfast. Okay, so I'm out the shower. I'm feeling a lot fresher and I'm excited I've just arrived. It is the card that I've got for my sister's engagement. I won't upload this until she's seen it. So there, she won't have a spoiler. I'm just gonna do my skin prep first just so that I can let it dry down whilst I show you the card that I got her and the gift as well, because there is a little bit of a funny story about the gift. I've mentioned this on YouTube. I'm honestly loving the Mixum, Mixum Bean Essence. It's a Korean product. And honestly, I swear it has really helped my skin. Like I have got a little bit of a breakout at the minute and this is also like the iPhone camera. So it's like shows you so much grain, but genuinely, I really feel like this has helped my skin overall. Oh, it feels nice. Yeah, see, there's like a nice glow, I feel. I still barely look alive, but I'm just gonna do that for just now and then I'll continue on with my makeup. I wanted to show you this card. It's so cute. So they are quite big Disney fans. So it's from Etsy and it's basically like, the castle but then you can personalize like the details so she's brunette and then I thought he would maybe wear like I don't know just like a suit he's also got quite dark hair although I feel like I should have gone a slightly lighter hair color for him and then it's just like and they lived I can't read that backwards happily ever after Lauren and Sid Lauren and Sid lived I have oh my god Lauren and Sid lived happily and ever after so how cute is this and then I'm going to show you what I got them as an engagement gift so there is a bit of a laugh with this because basically I made a spelling mistake. <laughs> if you can call it that, a typo. Let me show you. So they got engaged in the Cotswolds and Verve Clico do this thing where you can get an arrow tin with a bottle of champagne inside it and then the name of like whatever special place or you could have put the date, which I maybe should have done. <sighs> And then you can also put here the, the, the miles or kilometers from Reims, like the Champagne region. So it's just quite cool. Anyway, I was like on Google Maps looking at Cotswolds and it came up Cotswolds. And I was like, oh, so there's not an S. I always just thought, oh, it's the Cotswolds, which it is. But on Google Maps, I swear I looked at it because I had to work out the mileage. Anyway, it just says Cotswold, which is apparently a different place from the Cotswolds. <laughs> Jack was like, oh my God, do we just like make shift an S? I thought like as a joke, we could like, like this would just rub off, I think. Although what if it doesn't? Maybe I'll test it on a wee area. Like just literally as a wee joke, like drawing an S, but they could just wipe that off. Cause I think it still looks nice. It's just not the place they got engaged. But for any like engagement gifts or wedding gift ideas, like this is actually so cute. We actually have one as well. I'm just trying to show you the bottle so it sets in like that. Like, how nice is that? I do think it's a really nice gift and the fact that you can personalize it, but it's not anything like too, I don't know, over the top personalization. I just think it is cute if you get the name right. I also thought in this video, I could maybe do a couple of unboxings of some PR parcels that I have, because I have some arrived, they're just behind me. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then I will come back and we'll go through them. And then I will take you along with the rest of my day because I am choking for a coffee. <laughs> And I don't know what to do because like I'm still waiting on this bloody Tesco delivery, but I think I'll have a protein yogurt. I think I already mentioned this in these videos, but it's the Banoffee one and it's so good. And it just feels like, whoa, we're getting a lot of protein in for 90 calories. Before I go for just now, look, the, this came with the card and I think it's like a little sticker. So I was thinking I could put this on somewhere. I mean, I could be nice and actually give it to Lauren. She would probably appreciate it more than me. Okay, I'll put it in with the card, but I kind of wanted it for me. <laughs> but she would appreciate this more. It's like a wee Disney sticker. There's a handsome wee boy just up there. You're so cute. This is such an unesthetic background, but I'm just finishing my makeup and Scarlett Fraser in her YouTube is just always wearing such a nice like pink lipstick. So I'm going to try and see if I can use three to match the shade that she's got on because I just think it looks really nice. 
The Tesco delivery is finally here, by the way. This is like the most boring like stuff. But I just feel like if I'm doing a weekend vlog, this is this is what's happening. This is what we've ordered. You can see there's a lot of carbs, rice, rolls, pasta. <laughs> there are some vegetables in here as well. I've just come over to the window because I want to try this lip stick slash gloss when i saw her lip, like lip color i was like oh my god i really want to get a color like that and then i was like no leslie i have this old bag this is an old bag of makeup that i need to go through and work out what's worth keeping but anyway as i know there's going to be something in there that's going to work i'll show you the colors that i'm going to try and mix together to get it's like a very pastel pink lip but like not in the like 2000s like powder on the lip look like it looks really cute so i have this one which i think is going to be a good start if we need a little bit more pigment this one is this one's too strong but even just to like add a little bit more pink to it and then a gloss on top i think this is going to be a nice gloss on top so let's 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 try i'm gonna start with this i'm just leaning right in hello there Okay, yeah, I really actually think this is the vibe. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the other one just to maybe get a little bit more strength of color. Yeah, I think that is the color I'm going for. Mm, I like it. What do we think? It's, it's different. I'm gonna put the gloss on top just to finish it off. Yeah, I really like it. I'm gonna go and finish my hair now. And then I think I'm gonna start filming some content I have to do today, TikToks, etc. Daisy, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? Daddy. <laughs> what are you seeing? I know, I love me. I'm finally gonna start filming, but I found this when I was looking through those lipsticks and it's like a little sample from Fragonard. This is one of the most gorgeous like French brands. They do like beautiful perfumes, like Eau de Parfum. Um, I think they do candles, diffusers as well. Um, like all of the botanicals that come from grass, like it's just beautiful. So I'm just gonna put a little, it's one of these like sample, perfumes that's on a wipe oh it's so like beautiful and floral see for like spring summer scents have a look at their website honestly this stuff is beautiful so this is one of the dresses that i'm going to be filming with today it is so pretty i absolutely love it i feel like it gives zimmerman vibes so i'll definitely have this linked in the description box in case anyone wants to shop it but i'll show you what it looks like on as well it's just gorgeous i love the wee belt and the buttons are so cute like look at this one and then they're all slightly different like they've got like different patterns on them i think it's so cute so i've got the dress on actually feeling a bit nauseous because i just did some spinning in it for the video but yeah hopefully it's gonna settle i love this dress i think it's so gorgeous for springtime and it feels so comfortable and just like just like an easy like holiday dress i love the print i love the bow tie very very cute honestly still feeling a bit nauseous i don't know why i was spinning like that i just thought it might look good because the dress is really flowy so what i'm doing now is i'm just going through a brief from a collab that I've already filmed and I'm just basically doing like a final edit and I'm just making sure that anything that was in the brief that I have done that and then it'll be basically submitted for approval. I feel like this is like the not so glamorous side that no one really shares that much whereby um, this this one is a voiceover so basically I just need to make sure that in the voiceover I've mentioned what is in the brief. So that's what I'm going to do now and then I might be meeting my dad for a coffee and then I want to try and film one more collab today, although I might be running out of time. So 
sorry about the washing machine noise it's in here but i also wanted to show you this pr box that arrived which looks so cool so basically it says refill with rhythm on it and it's like different pouches of product and then you can refill them so i'm gonna just go through what we have here so here's some information recyclable vegan plant-based refillable uk made life supplies is the company oh i love this they're so chic like this is so like minimalist like i love it i actually don't know how how do i get into it though wait i think i pull this off maybe not okay okay so i just unscrewed this one it actually smells amazing it smells of lime let me just double check was it wait lime yeah lime it smells so fresh. This one is so strong. It's eucalyptus. It smells a little medicinal, but I feel like it's going to be very, like, you're going to feel really clean with it. Yeah, and then basically I have these two, like, refills. So I guess the idea is to be more sustainable in that you are buying, like, this, I guess this is recycled cardboard. Um, the whole brand seems very, very focused on like very ethical, like vegan, plant-based, refillable, UK made. So there's a couple of other bits here. There is a natural mint toothpaste, which I'm really excited to try. This is completely plant-based and I have been using the Zing toothpastes for the last wee while and I have been enjoying them. So I'll be excited to compare to this. And then here is another, okay, so this is the toothpaste. Oh my gosh, that's so bougie. Like that's your toothpaste coming out. And then there is also, I think this must be a bamboo, bamboo toothbrush. So I am gonna be awful clean and <laughs> well, well, I don't know, groomed. <laughs> but thank you so much, Life Supplies. Go and have a look at their website for some more information and their different products and what they do. It's particularly if this is your vibe, like very chic, minimalist. I think it's very cool. I actually can't remember where I left this vlog off, but I've been doing some filming again. I'm now having to do the post filming cleanup. Any content creators will know the nightmare that it is because you just, you're trying to put outfits together one after the other and stuff ends up everywhere. But thank you for spending the weekend with me. I hope you have enjoyed this like stay at home vlog on oh, this lighting. Look how much better the lighting is. This, this is another thing. It makes such a difference. Let me know if you like this style of video, if we should do more like this. But thank you so much for everyone that supports my channel. Honestly, I'm trying to get back at doing a weekly video because I do love it. Um, so yeah, please, please subscribe. Give me a like and a comment. And yeah, have a fabulous day. And I'll see you all next Thursday for my next video. Bye.